welcome to another video of sent by heaven my name is Hisela and I'm the owner of sent by heaven today our video is gonna be a continuation of the pie um, ring candles so this time um, we're gonna use the the lattice style this is the small lattice pie ring style and we're gonna have our we're gonna use our baking pan pie um, four inches and we're gonna use two cd eight two cd eight weeks on each um if you may ask why um the reason is if you watch the video before i use um single wigs on the other two pies and this one was a cd12 and you can see the ring and i brought them past five hours each um and you can see that the ring is partially intact so that was something that I didn't want, I didn't like. So I went up and used a CD um, 16. And you can see here that the cross is partially melt. So I was like, okay, so my next option um, on waking up, I can use a 18 but i was thinking um because i'm already familiar with how cd cd wigs work um i thought C, the cd18 will kind of create a higher flame for this low high candle so that was something that i didn't want to um use because you also, when you make a candle, you have to consider not just the vessel um, or the size of how wide is your candle, but also how tall is your candle. Because if your candle is not too tall, there's going to be a lot of air flowing, a lot of oxygen around the flame and a low base candle like a pie. So that also gives you the chance that your flame can go bigger. So I rather not use CD18, but if you want, you can try and see um, what is your result. So once again, I'm gonna use two CD8 for for this pie project. And one thing about this style pie is. This is the most easy. I think this is one of the easiest one because the cross is already very elaborated and it's not like you have plenty of space to put um embeds or decorations on it. So it's mainly to kind of put the wax in and you can just place it you can add a little bit of gel wax or simply just place it and make a little bit of whip wax on top and that's it it's very simple i'm just giving you kind of a view of, of what we're gonna do so now i'm gonna get my wax ready and we're gonna start i'm gonna prepare put the wigs and everything and come back to you so we can start making this candle very quick yeah, be back okay hello everyone we're back and now i have my wax already and my container already whipped with my two cda and i also have my wax already melted and scented for the purpose of this video, um, I'm recycling wax. I'm reusing wax from previous projects. In this case, I 
have um, little leftover wax piping that I did. It's the same wax that I use. I use 415. I just add the color in the scent. Even we're gonna make a probably a cherry or some type of candle. I don't know. I still don't know what what fruit because the scent of this is mango coconut. So once again for for um, the video purpose I'm showing you the technique so it's not something that there's not a product that I'm gonna be making in front of you to sell this is just for educational purpose also if you are learning a, a, a new candle maker or a beginner or just a person that is in the hobby or just want to know more about waxes and start practicing um, the cost of wax has been going up very high lately so recycling your wax reusing your wax especially when you're learning is not a bad thing okay you try to um, learn about the wax also you get familiar with the wax that you're working you know um, the technique that you're using if you want to learn piping trust me I before I when I learned to make piping I used to melt and remelt and remelt and remelt until I got the right consistency I figured out the right consistency to do the piping to the point that now it comes naturally that I just know exactly when is the right consistency. So with that say, don't be afraid to recycle your wax if you're learning. It will help you on the long run. Um, so once again, I'm gonna pour my wax So this is like two to three ounces. I think this is two ounces of wax each. And the small pie candles normally are like six, six to five ounces. So we're about on the right track. So we're gonna let our wax set and then we're gonna put together our pie candle using our, our Latisse style pie ring. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna agree. This, this one will be so far the easiest one to make because you might not require to use embeds and I will show you how. Okay, so let's wait. See you in a little bit. Okay, hello everyone, now we're back and our wax is already set. And now we're gonna add our rings and also I prepare a little bit of gel wax and we have our embeds so one thing that I always gonna recommend to have and if you're a candle maker you already know that our heat gun is our best friend for many many reasons so we are going to melt a little bit The 
top of our pie. And you can see I'm not putting no embeds right now. And I will fill up the con the the tray all the way up because I have to also cons have in consideration the melting crust. So I'm gonna add. my cross my ring cross right here and i already um prepared a little bit of um gel wax One thing about gel wax um, is that you cannot use a lot of fragrance oil um, because even the smallest amount of fragrance oil can um, alter the shape or you mean the consistency of the wax. So you can add around that will also create a binding. Between your cross and the candle it will kind of bind up everything together we have our pie hopefully you guys can see all the ways let me turn on the light on this thing ah, if i can find it okay there you are all right and remind me how was the name of that i don't know if if it was i um um, I used to eat this cookie when I was young. Um, it calls Reinitas. I don't know. And, and um, I think it's kind of queens. And they will be like um, toasted brown around. And then the center will be like a jelly filling. I don't know the name um, here in the U.S. Um, but we used to call it um, Reinitas in Venezuela. Oh, that was the name. So that's it. You make a simple pie candle. If you want to go a little bit of extra mile, you can have a little bit of wax crumb. And you can just melting a little bit around. And you can add some crumbs. Some wax crumb. And you should be able to, to secure them.
And I think just like that, we just change our pie and it looks really yummy, if you ask me. Hmm. Um, now we're going to move into the next one. And also the amount of, um, gel wax that we're going to use, it's very minimal. So you can see already it, gel wax tends to cool very fast especially if it's um the room of the temperature is comfortable it's not hot and it's yeah on winter time too it cools very very fast so i'm using my heat gun because it's a small amount i can use my heat gun to melt Some of the gel wax. Now, if it's a big amount, um, don't punish yourself. Warm it up on the stove and melt it. So, I'm doing the same thing, I'm putting it around. And I'm going to put on the space. Once I do that, once again, we have a pie. We can use a single embed. Just to secure it. And then we can drizzle it with the gel wax. trying to turn you up. And we have a pie. Simple, cute, easy. And you can see actual amount of wax um, if we put it on the scale, um, just give me a second here. Um, I'm going to bring my scale and I empty so we can calculate the, you can see how many ounces approximately a pie like this will weigh. Okay, so I have my scale here. I'm going to turn it on. First, we're going to weight our tray. Um, I have it on pounds, so let's change it to ounces. That's ounces? Yeah, that's ounces. So it's 0 0.07 ounce 
on the tray. So we're gonna tear. And we're gonna put our pie. And it's about 389 ounces. So small and cute pie. And this one, three and a half, 350. So of course, the more you add, the more embeds you add, um, it will weigh more. So that is up to you. So thank you very much for watching. As I mentioned before, the pie cross um, rings are available on my Etsy shop and it's available in two styles, the Latisse style And the rope and the rope style um, if you want to know how to make a video with the um, a video know how to make a candle using the rope style um, please go back to our previous um, video and you will see a sample how to use our cross ring and once again, it's available on our Etsy shop, Send by Heaven Studio on Etsy. And once again, thank you for watching. If you like this video and you like the contents that I provide, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below, let us know, or you can join us once again on the Next Level Candle Maker group, and you will meet not just me, but many other um, talented candle makers. Thank you. Please stay safe, stay strong. Bye.